Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Logo Histories. And as promised, today we're going to be covering the ITV logo. Let's get right into it. 1955 to 1963. Um, it's just some plain text. Um, I don't really have anything else to say here, so let's move on. 1963 to 1971. Oh, here's something a little bit more creative. Uh, as you can see, um, you can see the text ITV above its own text of its full name. Um, now, this logo has not had very many sightings, so let's get to finding all the rare logos on this list. Alright. 1966 to 1973. Oh, now the text has been removed, as you can see, and the uh, ITV text has been like put into a more condensed form. And now this is like the third logo on our list, and still, I have nothing to say here. Let's move on. 1973 to 1986. Oh, oh finally! Um, as you can see, the uh, the text has been. Uh, well, basically, it's been, like, all smushed together a lot more. When will they stop smushing it together? Who knows? Let's find out in the next logo. 1975 to 1980. Now, here is a very, very stylized version. Um, you can see the font used is called Aki Lines. And um, I don't know if there have been any sightings of this logo in any, like, specific videos. Let's move on. 1980 to 1993. Oh, this is the point where the logos start to get more common. Now, as you can see, the uh, text here. Um, I've actually seen a few sightings of this logo personally, and um, I'd say this logo is okay. Let's move on. 1989 to 1998. Oh, this logo was actually. The regional variants of this logo were actually turned down by most of the regions owned by ITV. And the only one, the, the only region that used this variant of this logo for the lot full run until the logo got replaced is Grampian Television. Used it from the 4th of September to 1989 and, spoiler alert, the 4th of October 1998. 1998 to 2001. Oh, and here's. And this logo was adopted exactly one year after the BBC adopted their old logo from 1997. Um, it's pretty bland, as you can see, the, uh, is a blue rectangle with red text, yellow, yellow text saying ITV in it. Um, this logo is pretty bland, but does have some personality, at least. 2001 to 2002. Oh, and this one is just, this one is also boring, because they just, all they did here is add another yellow square and put a number, and put a blue one in it. And trust me, the next logo is even more boring. 2002 to 2004. Ah, here. It's just a 3D version of the old one. Nothing to say here. 2004 to 2006. And you know what they've done here? That they split up. Look, they, they, they split up all the letters and the numbers stayed intact, but they've split the old 1998 logo and turned it into, like, you know, like put them in the little squares. 2006 as a prototype logo. Um, this one was not very was not used for very long, and this logo has has had very very few findings. So um, let's move on. 2006 to 2010, and they've changed for some reason. They've changed the ITV text to black instead of white. It would have been done even more better if it was black. Anyway, let's uh, move on, shall we? 2010 to 2013, and they've added a gradient. Wow, well done, well done for your blandness. Yeah, this one gets the gold medal for blandness. Well done. 2013 to 2018, and here's the logo we're all familiar with, just the ITV logo and a colorful script. That's a pretty unique logo, and. And trust me, that kind of gets destroyed in the next and current logo. 2019 to the present day. Um, this one is actually, it's actually destroyed all the colorful vibe. 
and instead of five colors, they've done three. Um, a cyanish color, a bluish black color, and a, a slightly lighter, slightly lighter version of the last one. All right. And speaking of which, thank you so much for watching the second episode of my series, Logo History. And next time on Logo Histories, we're going to be covering the logo history of Channel 4. Alright, see you then, and bye-bye.